Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen. I'm Kashka. And we're here today on the returning to Enigmatic 9 Expert Edition. Uh, yeah, where we're lost. <laughs> I almost feel like we should have started over. Because like, I don't remember what the hell we were doing. I don't either. And that's why we're going to take a look. I mean, who knows? Maybe we will start over. Um, but uh, <coughs> it has been some time. The pack is available online. You guys can all go get it. Wait. Oi, who said you could do that? What? <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what the? Oh, oh gosh. Okay, that, that proves that CCI works. <laughs> I forgot about these dudes. No, dudes, no. Got him. Get stabbed. Oh, getting quest completion? I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm stabbing every, all of them. Dinus, thank you very much for that. Thank 28 you, Dinus. 28 months! Oh my god. 11 month streak! Thank you, Dinus, oh. for the 28 months of support. Thank you so much. And the thank you for the small package. My chair is not in the right spot. Uh, Alright, so let's say hi to people in the chat. We've got some crazy skunk. Um, oh, jeez. Uh oh. Hey. Uh oh. I may die. I may die. What? Hey! What? Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! You just used whoa. up one of your charms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I mentioned. <laughs> um, Whoops! <laughs> all right. Hello to some crazy skunk. Uh, Rainbow T Kitty, Gen C D Fan, uh, Brissinger Arrowwing, Bennett D's, uh, Red Dead Monkey, Nobby Git, Astro Bird, Sid Double O Seven, Sirius Creeper, uh, Dianess. EQLM, the Harvester, oh, uh, Carlock, welcome back yourself, sir. And I think that's uh, just about everybody that said anything in chat. <laughs> Carlock, thank you for the prime sub and 18 months oh, of support. <laughs> oh, that's a choo choo train if ever I saw it. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, God. <laughs> thank you. They just saved me. Woo. Stay up there, Kashka. <laughs> yes, I am going to. Thank you for much. That, that helps. <laughs> oh, gosh. Harpster, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Thank you very oh, much, Harpster. my gosh. There are so many of them. <laughs> there, I, I kind of weeded them out a little bit there. There's just a few left for you. And we've got Dianess over here. Th thank you, Harvester, again for five subs. Five mass subs. Get mass mousing indeed. Get mass moused. Um, I can't remember. Did I have like any? I do have a spell book coming up. <laughs> you should have a spell book. Wait. <laughs> it was coming right for me. All these gems hey, and everything. That was mine. <laughs> Actually, it's I fine. Got... You keep it because <laughs> my inventory is a hot mess. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> it's just going to go in the inventory system. Thank you, Dianess, for the 100 biddies. Oh, uh -oh. Ow! Oh. Oh. Thank you. Get stabbed. Ow. I got to eat food. Oh. <laughs> when they die, they leave ashes. It's kind of rude. It's... Thanks, you. I just need the corner Ooh. of my PC case. That was fun. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Kashka, incoming friendo. He's I see him. going for the hug. No ecto gamut. No ecto gamut. <laughs> I don't think so, sir. He, he dropped a hat. He did drop a hat. It's good to see right. a newer Enigmatica mod pack in 1.19.2 version. Yeah, yeah. We've actually been playing this for a while. We just took like a month away from it or something like oh, that shit. uh oh shit. uh oh uh oh what's going on oh serious creep but thank you for gifting five subs thank you that's a oh, shit. that's a lot of dudes okay uh, okay oh there's so many of them the lag is real okay thank you serious creeper for that the lag is like a bit pants i mean we had that before to be honest 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, I hit two of them with that one. Nice. Okay. Picking up all the stuff. Yeah, I, I'm still getting a bit of, like, server lag. Though. Hey, where, what are you doing? Where are you going? Hey! No super speed Serious at Serious Cooper, thank you very much for that. Thank you, I see. For the mass mousing. And Rin and Okami Rin. for the prime sub and 18 Indeed. months of support. My thank you so much. Is full. Didn't I have a backpack? <laughs> oh shit. That's Thank you for the messy. tea, Rowan. Oh shit. Alan. <laughs> Don't need to relearn pack if chat crashes it. That's fair. Yeah, uh, what's up, Kashka? Uh inventory woes. Uh Yep, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a chest that was gifted to us a while back. I'm going to open that chest and also, get the loot within. Boop. 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 There we go. So there's a chest here for you when you're ready with your well sorted inventory. <laughs> Thank you for the tea time, Rowan. So obviously, well, I'm just going to dump stuff in here. Creepers run away from cats, but what if we could fuse them into an unholy abomination? Creepers. Mm. Well, I mean, you already wear like a kitten on each foot with the uh, artifacts mod. So you've got like kittens, like slippers, like live kitten slippers. So that that's already wrong. But like gluing toast with jam onto a cat. I was <laughs> so, thinking that. <laughs> so you're generating perpetual, perpetual energy. Motion. Yeah. Perpetual motion. I've seen the, the video for that one. That's pretty good. <laughs> Tango Tech did that years ago in a video series. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, oh, both those backpacks are empty. And then I've got a bunch of tools and stuff in this one. Okay. I've got all sorts of goodies and things. I don't even remember what most of these things are good for. Oh, I remember what that's for. Oh, yeah. I've, I've still got a captured uh, witch in that here. Is. That, that can go in there. I'm just filling up the inventory. Okay. So looking at the quests, <laughs> I'm a there. bit confused now. Sure, that can, that can go. Chapter one, Naga trophy, right? And we get an aura infusion? What? 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 Did, did you know we're 52% of the way to a level 4 hype train already? My gosh. Whoa! Guys, I'm not. Uh, so, I clicked it. Oh! What is going on? And some leaves drip down. But, what, what, what did it accomplish? I don't Breaking know. Breaking Bites series. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Emergency aura. Having trouble with auras? Need a quick boost? Perform this ritual to convert Twilight Forest boss trophies into a large infusion of aura. Interesting. Okay. That still doesn't explain the reward of an aura infusion. Oh, lordy. Uh, let's go to getting started. Does it explain it in here now? Um, no. Modded, learning mods, discovering enigmatica. What is going on? What are you talking about? What? What? What is happening? What, the green? It fills the chunk with aura from nature's aura. Oh, look over here. It's even, it's, you can see it's all lit up as well. Your uh, aura infusion thing. Thank you guys again for the hype train. Thank you so much for your generosity. Indeed. Thank you. It runs a command to increase aura in the area. I'm guessing it fills the chunk with aura from nature's aura. Uh huh. But how much aura? I mean, it looks pretty good looking at all the green particles. And doesn't aura uh, slowly over time, like, distribute to nearby areas or something like that? Or does it stay that way? So, like, should I selectively 
accept those rewards for it. Right? That yeah, because I see like a bunch of the stuff I had now has that. In addition, you know? Hmm. Weird. Because it doesn't, yeah. I don't see it stating what that does in the early stuff, like chapter one, getting started, what that would accomplish. This one here. Craft some brilliant fiber. Come in uh, in a mortar and weave it among the leaves of any tree, is it? Yeah, oh, that was me. Sorry. So it seems like all these rewards that I haven't claimed all have the same thing, an aura infusion. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> Just imagine if you claimed it all at once. Click the button, you know, <laughs> collect all rewards. <laughs> well, I'd imagine that there's like a maximum capacity for it, and it would probably just know, be a but, bunch uh, of wasted stuff. I was just thinking of the, the <laughs> visual and sound effect. <laughs> Never mind. What, you were getting visual and sound? What? Oh, oh, cool! It's not much, but take the leet. <laughs> Jensi, thank you so much for the leet uh, tippage. <laughs> wow, look at that! It is fall. <laughs> that, is, that is so cool. That. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much, Jensi. That's very kind of you. These do go away eventually, right? I remember in testing they did, but yeah, no, I've seen them disappear now. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I like that they stick around for a bit. Then that's yeah, that's that nice. Is very cool. Okay. I believe it tries to balance out. Yeah, but that can be useful if you're suffering from a deficit. Hmm. Didn't know that's a thing. What's a thing? That's a thing. What? Wait, what's a thing? <laughs> the 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 tip. CCI. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Got the music going on. Uh, building? Delete leaves. <laughs> uh, an abacus. Why are you taking damage? Ow! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh shit! Okay, Thank I can't. I'm in a wall. Help! Uh, uh, you're on your own. <laughs> what the fuck? How did I get up here? I can't move. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I do need to. Nightcast, mine. thank you very much. <laughs> now that I know what's going on, um, thank you, Nightcast, for the two hundred biddies and sneaking up on me at that same moment. Birthday hugs? Is it your birthday? That one of those little kobolds came in. Let's do this. Very sneaky. And this. There we go. That will do. It's, that okay, was now really I'm weird. We'd had a fire. Oh, you're getting a bit chilly. Yeah. Well, we've oh got God. we've got the heaters. Um. I've got my heater. Birthday hugs. Thank you very much for the birthday hugs, Nightcast. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's not your birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> hey! Get back here, you. <laughs> or instead get yeeted. Nice cast. Thank you for the hundred yeeters. Ow! Get him, puppers! <laughs> so Kashka, you were mentioning uh, a little interest in a different mod pack. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm done with this. No, one. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just mentioning it now in case so that people might you know wouldn't be too surprised by it if if we do decide to switch it up. Enjoy your lurk, Rowan. I hope your anniversary dinner was a good one. I'll be doing a lurk as I am almost done knitting a shirt for myself. Okay. Oh, cool. It uh, was. Uh, the, yes, the, the, meal was was ex the, the meal was excellent. Or at least I really enjoyed mine. Yes, I also enjoyed mine. Kashka had fish and chips. <laughs> kind of. Uh, uh, kind of. 
<laughs> kind of. Fancy. Fancy fish and chips. It was monkfish scampi with with fries. With what? With Kashka into the Between Lands Tourism release job. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> oh no, you opened that can of worms. <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> Joe Fox, hello. <laughs> hello, Joe. How you doing? <laughs> To answer your question, my birthday is tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Well, then in that case, happy birthday. (laughs) Future Valen says happy birthday. I blame Siren because she isn't here, so I can blame her freely. But that wouldn't stop you from blaming her even if she was here. So I don't see your rationale kind of panning out there. Hi. So yep. what you thinking? Uh, I'm kind of clicking through the quests right now. A lot of them have food as well. And seeing if there's something I missed besides food or... Ooh, a stack upgrade. Okay, that that was good. And then the stack upgrade gives food. Ah. <laughs> um, did this one have stuff? Oh. Wait, this, uh, so I'm in the chapter one quest line. Okay. So should we just be like pushing through? Break on through. I still have my epic create loot box. I'm grabbing that. Uh, I'm still. Uh, I need to get my yurt fixed. You do need to get your yurt fixed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? Rare immersive engineering loot box. I'll take that too. Okay. The. Oh boy, getting all the stuff. Um, we even have mechanism stuff. A configurator for free? I take it. So I'm assuming, tell me if you think the same, that like chapter two unlocks when you kind of get to the bottom of these quest chains. Probably. Like the aluminum quest. I'll be happy. Tree of Life. Or nether courts. I I totally approve of this road. Startle. Would you, uh, Start. Would you agree with that assumption? Sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. We got item vaults, and there's it was a reward for making a storage lectern. Drawers, item vaults, and dimensional storage actuators, creating dense storage capabilities using fewer bookworm connections. Lecterns may also be chained to allow remote access to the central storage. Place a new lectern anywhere within 30 blocks of the primary lectern. No one with the wand. Right-click primary with the wand. So I we can use item vaults? That's kind of crazy. Huh. Okay. Today I learned. Oh, free chalk brush. Yes, please. And then the rest of it's all food. Okay, I think I've caught up with my... Uh, oh, no, I had one claim left that I didn't see. There I guess here's my thing, though. I don't... Like, I don't want to just do the quest without understanding the purpose of, like, you know, what it's trying to teach me kind of thing. Right. I mean, that totally makes sense. Put all these things in here. And I just don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> I just know that I need to get my yurt working. <laughs> I've got a basic chemical tank filled with 128 buckets of biomass. Just for reference. Uh, put those in there. Oh, and press gigantic petit pois. <laughs> Is that like the fancy mushy peas? <laughs> I also have 128 buckets of fungi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> fancy That's fish. That's a lot of guys who are fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Yup. I had um, I had monkfish scampi. So it was like little pieces of monkfish, like 
breaded and then deep fried and um it had had a little a little salad on the side actually and then some fries it was pretty good yeah mm -hmm. looked pretty good mm -hmm. yeah the monkfish was delicious um i had for those that might be interested <laughs> not everybody <laughs> telling you anyway <laughs> yeah for, you're getting you're getting your wishes to sit down uh, i had um haggis stuffed chicken breast wrapped in parma crispy parma ham on uh mashed potato with a peppery um gravy sauce it was lovely oh it was so good <laughs> did i get a fancy dessert like that one i had sticky toffee pudding the and it was pretty good it's like the the national pudding or the national dessert for that matter sticky toffee pudding you go to a restaurant you should be able to get sticky toffee pudding in most places And it wouldn't be a mischief stream without the food porn. You know we're back now because of this. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is not complete. All right, so. Oh, did you uh, open the chest yet? Your this crushed silver ore in a medium hill or hydra area. NV. Hmm. Yes, I did open the chest. That is. No a bar bag of chips with some cheese drizzled over it. Siren <laughs> <No. laughs> hello. Isn't being bar bag of chips. Being Scotland isn't the national dessert deep fried iron brew in battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that would be a drink. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deep fry <laughs> liquid? <laughs> Hmm, we just had a spike of lost frames. Oh. And okay. neither of us were even moving. <laughs> do... The heck? I wonder if it might be like connection or something. Interference. Naked people jumping up and down in front of the uh, LTE connection. Really? But, right, so you, so you freeze it, then deep fry it. People do that with coke. Okay, so wait, you freeze it and deep fry it. But when you deep fry it, it's going to start like melting around the edge right and doesn't that then kind of like offset the deep frying crispiness like isn't it immediately gonna get soggy like even if you eat it fast enough so the whole thing doesn't like you know melt isn't the the small part of it that does melt gonna make like <laughs> Make it soggy? No. <laughs> legit opinion, I reckon a sticky toffee put with an iron brew infusion in the toffee sauce would be legit nice. You're welcome to that opinion, Harvester. <laughs> That's as oh, much well, as I'm going to say on that. <laughs> Turns it into a jelly substance. <laughs> this does not sound right at all. <laughs> not even one tiny bit. <laughs> Okay, uh, crush silver ore in a medium hill or hydra area. Okay, so I need iron, and for that I need to crush silver ore, which is found in medium hills or a hydra area. Okay. So, oh, the map is reset. Oh. Yeah, and I did try to look for, like, where the hell FTB stores this shit. But honestly, like... Yeah, I just got frustrated and gave up. Well, because it's like I have well, the only thing that, oh, like in my head, my brain was just screaming, "Why can't you make it like simple, like zeros? Like why? What's the point in making it complex?" I so yeah, my options. I was getting grumpy. I was getting grumpy, so I just stepped away and thought, "Fine." <laughs> Deep fried just, ice cream is a thing, Kashka, that. says Astro Birder. It's true. I know, I know. 
So will you be publishing so photos crispy? of the noms from your croft area? I can see the new channel, Mischief of Noms. <laughs> um, for, some, for some reason, ice cream seems like it would stay solid more than like Coke or Iron Brew. I mean, maybe. I don't, but that makes no sense because it's all just, just kind frozen of liquids. Right I mean, you're not wrong with the needing to eat it right away thing. All right, let's see just how um, how stable things are, or aren't, oh, for that shit. matter. <laughs> uh, I need to travel to this Hydra area. Okay, go get it. That's what I'm doing. Got my magic pony. Mischief of rice. <laughs> I'm trying to think of this. And, oh, you know what? So his, the food that I've been completely like. Oh, it's so good. The local food that I've been really enjoying is there's a baker um, that's about like 10 minutes drive away. And she um, she doesn't use any refined sugars. So she's using all kind of like natural sources of, of sugariness. And I mean, not that refined sugars aren't natural, but you know what I mean, like unprocessed. Right? And oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. she also uh, uses a lot of ancient grains in her baking. Get smacked with a book. What what does ancient grains mean, Kashka? Because honestly, when you say that to, oh, shit. to me, that makes me think of like she uses a whole bunch of old grains. <laughs> I, um, Hi, Feldray. I, thank you for the sub. And for 41 Feldray, months. Thank you very much. Welcome back to streaming. Thank you. It is good to be back. Uh, Unrefined sugar. Crazy talk. Grains older than Valen. I mean, that's saying a lot. Like, yeah, like spelt. Um, um, it's grains that have not been like genetically modified or um you know it's grains that have not been altered modernized should we say side eye indeed you're not interested <laughs> <laughs> okay fine no i get it i get it old grains no uh they they haven't been modified or modernized yeah modernized. i would say they have not been modernized um yeah so she does a lot of that and she also i think she has really like she has an excellent talent for um for flavor combination yeah mm. one could say that <laughs> yeah i mean we regularly so devour these... her foods yeah she makes these cinnamon rolls um that are insanely good i mean they really are like... <laughs> amaranth quinoa the ones used in olden days more or less as is rather than how wheat's been bred into oblivion <laughs> yeah exactly um Didymus, you have no idea this is an ancient magic map just like ancient grains it is unmodified and it is. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna come in your office. <laughs> is there no silver over here? Oh my god. It's all tin. Tin. There's no So her, silver. yeah, her cinnamon rolls are delicious. Absolutely delicious. And then um, we went to one of the local, like, market things, and um, she had these cookies. Oh my god. They were ridiculous. Oh, uh -oh. Thank hey. the light. Let me help you reach the oars. They were like, um... <laughs> Thank you, Harvester, for the they hundred were, bits. They were kind of oatmeal-y, but, um... Yeah, she had uh, chocolate chunks in there as well, and it was all amazing. And we also got, oh, I don't know if Harvester will like this. I'm trying to remember if Harvester liked Marmite or not. Um, 
Uh, she make she regularly bakes like sourdough bread, right? And she put she sometimes she mixes stuff in to the dough, and she mixed in um, cheddar and marmite, like Orkney cheddar with marmite. Oh my god! That was so good. <laughs> It was good stuff. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. Hang on. The last thing that she I'm gonna tell you about that she made was um is granola. It was salted pecan granola. Oh, that was and good that stuff. Fluff and amazing. Mm. I had it with some Greek yogurt for breakfast the other day. So Old mealy, yes, very much. Does this woman need a husband at all? <laughs> no, she's married to um, she's married to a guy who um, handcrafts guitars. <laughs> you know, it's like I just feel like how to feel uh, <laughs> like you're not doing anything with your life at all is talk to these two. You know, it's a woman who's like an incredible baker and and this guy who's hand who sells handcrafted guitars, you know, and it's like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> what am I even doing with my life? <laughs> Iron dust. No. Granola, you can get that gravel from any good build as much. I will post a picture of this and <laughs> and you can, uh, you can tell me if you think it's it's amazing, basically. I got it. Okay. She's Gosh. super lovely, though. She's like, yeah, she's really nice lady. She gave us because we've been buying some I agree. baked products. Um, uh, from her for a while, and we said, you know, we find we let her know we finally moved in, you know, and um. And she's like, oh, have some buns as a housewarming present. So, so she gave us some, some cinnamon buns as a housewarming. And that was really lovely. And she has David Bowie eyes as well. I can never remember the name of that thing where one eye is one color and one eye is the other. Oh. I'm, oh, oh. I'm standing there looking at her and it's like, oh, shit, just pick a color and just look at that color. Do not look back and forwards like I'm thinking. Like... Heterochromia? Yeah, I'm like, just do, do not make a thing out of it, me. Just do not make a thing out of it. Just pick a color and just look at that eye. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> Granted, Harvester. <laughs> and you're, very, you're too kind, serious, but thank you very much. Okay. Invar. In the, oh, that's spellbound Invar. No. Oh, we were already hooked, guys. We were already hooked on those buns. <laughs> Which sounds slightly lewd, but... <laughs> but... There we go. Awkward Kashka makes herself even more awkward. I know, I'm just like... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, please do not do this brain. Like, where you're like, oh, there's a blue eye, there's a brown eye, there's a blue eye, there's a brown eye. No, 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 stop it, just pick a colour. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm doing a struggle here trying to I remember being able to crush silver ore I thought made something when you stare at the bridge of the nose doesn't that like I mean doesn't that look like you're not looking at anything <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the fuck are they looking at because they're not actually looking me in the eye <laughs> like, is there something on my face <laughs> well rumor has it that it's a uh, typically on average a good strategy if you want to end a conversation by constantly looking back and forth to a person's left and then right eye and then back again and continuing to do that it's just oh yeah yeah apparently that just kind of like makes them feel extremely uncomfortable and okay. so then they'll they'll most likely try to end a conversation <laughs> <laughs> i thought 
felt really bad because um when we were talking to her at the market just like catching up with her you know mm-hmm. um there was somebody like waiting in line behind us to get <laughs> buns from her. and she like, just kept going <laughs> she just kept going i'm like oh shit <laughs> It's not me, it's her. <laughs> Another good trick to ending a conversation is to just end it. <laughs> just like, peace out. <laughs> well, maybe maybe for you, Carlock. But you can't do that. You're, you're British, right? So that goes against everything that you were raised for, right? Excuse me, I would also like to taste this woman's buns. <laughs> I have <spoken>. Dude. <laughs> All right. All right. Wait, that was I a need C to actually that said try that. and do something, just Creeper anything this eyes. stream. Otherwise, we're not going to get back. Oh, that, shit. Never mind. That was Serious Creeper that said that, not you, Carlock. Okay, so how do I make iron again? Because it's chained.